It has been a while since we saw an amiibo defect that was worthy of talking about on this channel and I explained to you guys in previous videos why I haven't because a lot of times what people do is they either open the box up with the amiibo and add a little subtle changes or remove parts, something along those lines, which doesn't really count as a defect because obviously first off they're tampering with it and second, when it's a defect there, there has to be a mutation, something that's totally off that doesn't seem right with the way the amiibo looks, not just something as simple as a, a missing jaw or an arm falling off. In this scenario, with this amiibo, where something's wrong, we have something added on. Now remember, ones that have added on defects are some of the creepiest out there, like the Marth with the extra head in the box, or the Bowser with the, uh, what was it, the Bowser had his head upside down or something like that? Or he had an extra head in his hand in the fucking amiibo box. There was a whole lot of crazy shit going on, um, the Peach with the three arms, well, friends, we have another case scenario with extra limbs. Let's go to the web browser real quick. Oh, uh, this is not necessarily the amiibo I'm talking about here, but um, we have a Lucario with three arms on it. Now, there's not that much information about this. It's not like it's on, um, you know, eBay or something like that, or people are like showcasing it. There's only one picture of this as I've seen so far, and I tried researching it, reverse searching the image. This is the only thing that pops up. Um, we can try another reverse search right now. I was asking around a little bit about you know where the hell this could possibly be found from but no more information about it like what it's about um, or if you can purchase it but big thanks to this guy Adam Ketchum who actually showed me this on Twitter um, big thanks to you man a link to this will of course be in the description and let's take a look at the defect in detail more so it looks like the arm is pretty much attached to Lucario here I really wish there were different angles of this. If you do know anything about this or know if there's any other images out there relating to this, then definitely let me know because I want to see everything in full detail. These amiibo defects are always so cool when they're legitimate, you know, authentic, and actually something somewhat disturbing. And this one definitely is. I can't tell where the arm is connected, per se, but it looks like it's a copy of his left arm and just like added onto his currently existing arm. No other details about this are known though. and. I don't know, man. I mean, it's hard to say if it's real or not, but here's the thing, right? When it comes to, like, extra limbs, I guess what somebody could do is open the box, rip off the limb of a current amiibo that they have, and just add it on to one, you know? So, I mean, it's not like this is something truly able to be proven that it's, you know, actually a factory defect, not just somebody tampering with it, but more angles of this would allow us to know that for a fact. Dudes, I want you to keep informing me if you run across any other crazy-ass amiibo like this. So, if you're not following me on Twitter, please be sure to do so. The link is in the description. Uh, anything else that you find weird or quirky in terms of the Amiibo, I would love, to, I definitely love to know. I mean, I know the Yoshi Yarn Amiibo recently just came out, so of course, I'm expecting some strange things to be the case with those things, um, especially the Mega Yarn Yoshi. Anything about them, you gotta let your boy know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think about this defect. This one is definitely up there, if it's legitimate, as one of the craziest ones I've seen, and we've covered a lot of weird ones on this channel. Um, not so, not so, not so severe weird ones like the Jigglypuff with no mouth, but um, this one definitely big. Or the Palutena with an all gold arm. I don't know. Somebody could just spray, spray paint that, but this one looks so legit. Well, it doesn't look legit, but it looks creepy. If it is legit, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.